everyone, I'm Yasmin Walena. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about some sad news, everyone. There, I have been kind of waiting out to actually do this video, um, but I have been hearing about this story. A lot of my subscribers had actually um, DM'd me, like, what's my thoughts on the story? Uh, what's the update? So it's a story about this 21-year-old college student. Her name was uh, Alexis Crawford, and she was initially um, missing. No one really knew where she was. Her family couldn't get in contact with her. Uh, her roommate claimed she couldn't get in contact with her and stuff like that. So it was actually later found out that this young lady had actually um, been murdered. So without further ado, let's hop into the situation of what exactly happened to um, this beautiful Alexis Crawford. So Alexis Crawford was a 21 year old college student. She went to um, Clark Atlanta University. Now through my own research, um, a few weeks prior to her body actually being found um, it's a lot of news articles stated that um, Alexis Crawford her roommate and her roommates uh, boyfriend they were all partying um, inside of her dorm drinking and stuff like that they were all of age to drink just like normal college students do you know once you get out of classes and stuff like that for the weekend you know just have a drink have a little kickback in your dorm room nothing unusual and they were partying and drinking now Alexis Crawford claims that uh, she actually um, passed out you know maybe drinking too much and she actually woke up to her roommate's boyfriend actually sexually assaulting her now her roommate name is Jordan Jones and the roommate's boyfriend is named Baron Brentley and she actually woke up to Baron on top of her sexually assaulting her now due to that incident um, it states that Alexis Crawford actually went to the police department locally in her area and actually filed a police report against her roommate's boyfriend for doing that now a few days later after that incident had actually occurred it was on October 27th when um, surveillance camera actually caught Alexis Crawford and her roommate um, going to the store getting some beer um, going to get some liquor and stuff like that inside of a convenience store now Baron was actually with them as well when they all went to go get beer from the store so it was Alexis Crawford who was the victim her roommate Jordan and Baron which is the uh, roommate's boyfriend they were all there in the store getting liquor and stuff like that and they were actually caught on the camera you know just doing their transaction and that was it now the roommate and the boyfriend claims that that was the last time they had ever seen her now her parents had also filed a missing persons report the day after they had actually went to the liquor store because they hadn't heard from her in over 24 hours so shortly after that a search had actually ensued there was um search teams looking for this young lady um they had dogs the parents were out there looking for her obviously the family members was looking for her even the roommate Jordan Jones was looking for her they were actually putting up flyers missing person flyers and stuff like that just to see if anyone had actually you know possibly seen this girl and you know said hey I recognize her or hey I seen her or something like that so they were actually actively looking for this chick now shortly into the search for Alexis Crawford her best friend Jordan Jones started acting a little weird when police would try to question her um, she didn't really want to give answers when police tried to call her um, she wouldn't really want to return their phone calls she didn't want to speak to them she really didn't want to give any information to them about the whereabouts of her best friend and of eventually she just fell back entirely and didn't help with the search didn't help with anything didn't do anything and that actually looked sketchy to a lot of people like hey here's your best friend you claim you didn't see your best friend in days the last time you seen her was when you all went to the store together and now she's missing and you don't even want to give us information or anything that could possibly lead us to where's your best friend you know so that looked a lot of sketchy in a lot of people's eyes after some further invest investigation from police and stuff like that it was later found out everyone that Alexis Crawford was actually strangled to death yes everyone so the story has it when they were all um, 
they went to the store to get beer and liquor and stuff like that they went back to the dorms and some sort of fight ensued between alexis crawford and jordan jones so the two best friends were allegedly into some sort of physical fight some sort of physical altercation now the boyfriend claims that he jumped into the fight to defend jordan which is his girlfriend and to stop them from fighting now in the midst of that he said he actually got on top of alexis and strangled her to death now he said that he did dispose of the body and he did eventually lead police to where her body was actually located which was actually inside of a park about nine days later after this entire search had ensued now it was also later found out that her best friend jordan had actually helped aided in her death it said that she had actually helped him to strangle her and to actually kill her and to actually dispose of the body with him and things of that nature so more than likely they're gonna probably get her to an accessory uh to murder or probably a just murder straight up so they're both looking at charges um as of today they're both looking at charges alexis Cross Crawford's body was found November 8th, which which is literally just a few days ago inside of a park. And um, her her family's devastated. I mean, her her friends, her family, they're just devastated. They're they're probably heartbroken. Here you have a beautiful 20, 21 year old girl at a prestigious university trying to get an education and is just wrapped up in some sort of stupid petty drama and ended up losing her life over it. Now, there has been several theories in regards to why the best friends were fighting, what was really going down. Now, a lot of people say that um, Jordan Jones actually was trying to fight Alexis because Alexis, a few weeks ago or a few, a few weeks prior, had actually filed a police report on her boyfriend. And maybe she was mad like, hey, you try to get my boyfriend in trouble with the law or you try to get him in trouble with the police by filing a report of him sexually assaulting you. How could you do that to me? You're my best friend. And people think that maybe that's how the fight ensued. Um, a lot of people speculate that it was actually a love triangle gone wrong. Now, I don't know. I mean, both scenarios sound valid to me but i'm leaning more towards b because i don't really know um if she was maybe you know sleeping with the boyfriend i don't know if the boyfriend was actually sleeping with alexis i don't know if they were all sleeping together i've seen some things that is hearsay so I, it's not really credible but it is a theory of people saying that they engaged in some sort of you know threesome or something like that and it just jealousy got the best of both of them and a fight ensued and you know unfortunately alexis died so there's a lot surrounding this entire story with this young girl but i just want to say not everybody is your friend man like i don't know i'm in college now and i don't go to a university or anything like that i'm due to graduate next year thankfully i'm so excited for that college is just oh my goodness but that's not the point the point is even if I went to a university, university, excuse me, I would definitely watch my back. Not every girl is your friend or not every person has the best intentions for you. I have, you know, been through a lot of stuff with females just going through um, school, going through elementary school, going through middle school, going through high school, going through the military. I mean, I've dealt with females my entire life of jealousy or she said this, he said, she said this, or, well, you know, there's this drama happening or she's jealous of you or you think that you're cute and you're not cute and just people just talking smack to each other, females just being nasty to other females, females being trifling, people sitting over here making up false rumors about you, um, putting all your personal business out there, trying to sleep with your dude just to get you mad so you'll fight them. I've seen definitely like a lot of scenarios to where females have been literally like pit against one another to fight for the love of a man. And it's just ridiculous. It's just sick and it's sad. And at the end of the day, I honestly wish these young girls, I mean, I'm their age, but it's just like, I just wish that these girls had more common sense than just putting a man before everything. Because here you have your boyfriend that has allegedly 
sexually assaulted your best friend when she was passed out or drunk or something like that and you weren't ever mad at her for that you weren't mad at her or excuse me you weren't mad at him for that you weren't mad at him for sexually assaulting your friend but you would fight her i don't understand i don't understand what this about what this entire situation is i can only assume that miss um jordan was maybe jealous of alexis and maybe she felt some type of way about that that I'm trying to tell you all not everyone is your friend please be careful no matter if you are in high school college just even if you go to work if I know nurses deal with a lot I have friends that are nurses and RNs and it's definitely clicks like you have your clicks over here your friend group over here and if you don't fit in you don't fit in they'll talk about you they'll try to get you fired they'll try to do all sorts of stuff they'll talk about your children women can be really nasty really conniving really disgusting and really trifling and that's why I don't deal with a whole lot of people because I will be throwing hands so this entire situation is crazy rest in pieces to this young beautiful girl she didn't even get to live to see 22 she didn't even get to graduate because of someone else's jealousy someone else's disgusting mindset and I hope these two people Jordan and her boyfriend they are currently awaiting um, trial and all this stuff they are being convicted so whatever the judge decides to throw at them I'm all for it they deserve every bit of their sentence this is sad we need to do better as a society we need to do better as women we need to do better as men there doesn't doesn't have to do nothing with color race nationality doesn't have to do nothing about that in general as a whole as a society we need to do better stop hating love that's all we need to do so i'm yasmin woodland if you're new here welcome to my channel let me know in the comments that you're new so i can give you a big warm welcome thank you so much for tuning in make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any news or any tea that i spill here on my channel thank you so much for tuning in rest in peace to this young beautiful girl and until next time see ya